Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to register accessory in the latest version of Clo 3D. If you have watched my previous tutorial of how to create accessories, you're likely familiar with the steps to register items like earrings and sunglasses in the older version of Clo 3D. Before demonstrating the updated method, I'll start by creating a pair of earrings from scratch as an example. For this demonstration, I will use the ellipse tool to make a metal cage drop earrings. First, I will start by creating an oval shape pattern and lower particle distance to 1. Next, I'll transform the oval pattern into a teardrop shape. Remove all the unnecessary point and convert them to curve points. Add an internal line, select and choose Convert to Whole. Once it's done, make a duplicate. Move and rotate the pattern near the avatar's earlobe to create the frame for the cage. Next, I will use ellipse tool to create a new circle pattern. Add an internal circle and convert it into a hole to form a circular hoop. Using the gizmo in the 3D window to position the circle in the center of the teardrop cage. Adjust its size with the transform pattern tool to fit perfectly within the cage. Once it's positioned, I'll copy and paste the circle to create additional hoops. I'll scale these circles and arrange them to fill the entire cage. With the teardrop cage complete, I'll create a new circle pattern for the earring stud. Move and position this circle on the avatar's earlobe. Make a duplicate of the circle and slightly enlarge the pattern. Connect it to the stud pattern using sewing tool. To create a nice rounded look, I will add pressure to the circle pattern. 
Lower both patterns particle distance to 1 for a smoother finish. Freeze stud and cage patterns and click simulate. On the round circle piece, I'll divide it evenly using internal lines, then delete every other section for a refined design. The last part is to create a few small jump rings to connect earring stud and the drop earrings portion. I'll finalize the design by selecting the colors and materials. And the earring will be ready to register on the avatar. When registering earrings in the past, first, I need to select all the pattern pieces, right-click and choose Symmetric Pattern to generate a mirrored version of the earring for the opposite side. Then go to File, and export the design as FBX and save the file name as Singular Earring with capital E. After exporting, go to Top Toolbar, under Avatar, select Register Accessory to bring out Register Accessory window. Select Earring in Accessory Type and choose File in Object. Click File icon to locate the Earring FBX file and click Save. depending on where you save your file. For convenience, I typically save the file in the earring folder I created within the Clo 3D library, allowing me to double-click and easily add the earrings to the avatar. However, if the file was saved elsewhere, just use the Open Accessory option under the File menu to locate and import the earrings as needed. In the newer versions of Clo 3D, instead of exporting pattern as FBX, you can now directly register the accessory using patterns. Using the same earring I created as example, when one side of the earring is complete, go to Avatar from Top Window Toolbar and select Register Accessory. In Register Accessory window, select Earring for the type. Under the Object section, choose Patterns instead of File. Make sure all the pattern pieces are selected. Check the mirror creation to automatically generate a mirrored earring on the other side. If you need to adjust placement, 
Use Transform Pattern Tool to select all the earring patterns. Go to 3D window and move the earring using Gizmo. Once you're satisfied with the placement, you can choose to use the auto-generated thumbnail or upload your own image. Then click Save. Finally, I'll add the earring back onto the avatar to double-check that everything works perfectly. Both methods work well in Clo 3D, but there's a key difference you should know. When exporting the pattern as an FBX file, the ability to change the color of the earrings depends on the number of materials assigned during the pattern creation process. For the earrings I created, I used two different materials in the patterns. As a result, when I select the earrings, I can only change two colors. On the other hand, when registering the accessory as pattern pieces, changing the color of the earrings must be done piece by piece. This includes the front, back, and side surfaces, which can each have their own color. This method is great for creating a multicolored design. However, it can be a bit tedious if you simply want to switch the entire object to a single color. Ultimately, choosing the right method for your design is essential. In this video, I've used earrings as an example to demonstrate how to register accessories using patterns in Clo 3D. The method can also be applied to registering other accessories, such as glasses or shoes. You can download this metal cage drop earrings for free by clicking the link in description. And that wraps up this quick tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more tutorials like this. See you in the next video.